Hey, it's Magnus here. Take a look at this screen here. Now, you see all those messy lines. I will explain what they are in just a second. Now, in case you're wondering, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll remember I said that I currently don't have a Mac, or I currently don't have my Mac laptop. I still don't have it, so I can't edit any video whatsoever. So I have to do my daily vlog video in one take, and that's what this one's gonna be. So you're gonna get a warts and all. It's gonna be a somewhat boring video relative to my other videos, but it's also going to be completely unedited and so when I sort of stumble on my words you're going to get that as well. But nevertheless I do have something to tell you about today. Those lines I just talked to you about or that I just showed you, they are the spinner design. You know the, you know the spinner I've been working on lately? This is the, one of the crude prototypes. If you remember this, sorry just my camera, if you remember this so that's, this is the, so this is a crude prototype that I made. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll notice that now, I've got a really good, uh, I've got a really good handle on spinning it. Like, I've got the, I've got the hang of it. It's, it just, I had no idea there was a skill to it. I had no idea. And also, because this one is really long, I've learned that this is long, this is three inches. Way longer than a spinner should be because I have to hold it with, my mid, my index finger and my thumb, and spin it with my with my middle finger. Because if I hold it with my middle finger and thumb, when I spin it with this, you see my 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 finger kind of my index finger gets in the way. A smaller spinner will will get over that, will get past that, and that's one of the things I've learned. Now, back to those lines. Those lines were the initial 3D drawing. My I'm just sort of starting to sketch a 3D prototype for for a spinner. I think I've got the final, final design. Now, I had a few designs floating around. I thought, oh, I could do it this way, 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 all these things. And you know what? When you're designing stuff, if you don't have like a very strict criteria, like if you can go, oh, I could do it this way, I could do it this way, I could do it this way, that makes designing very, very difficult because, like, what do you do? Whereas if you have very strict limits, real limitations, it makes it easier because there is one way and that's the best way, pretty much. And that's why when I design most products, I I have that. I have a very strict set of criteria, you know, my pen, my tweezers, all those things. They were relatively easy to design, you know, sort of. They still took time, but they were relatively easy because I didn't have a whole load of options. I had very strict criteria. They had to match or they had to meet, should I say. And that's the same with the spinner. Initially, that wasn't the case, but after spending countless hours, and I mean hours, like I have just been spending so long, spinning, spinning forward, back, changing finger positions, and I've realized there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot to it, there's way more to it. In fact, I won't do it in this video, I'll just give you a quick kind of taster, but I don't own a spinner from anyone else. I've just been like scouring every post on Instagram and online and on YouTube and just sort of learning what I can. There's a lot more to it than you realize. I mean, I initially saw all those designs, but then after sort of spinning my own spinner and uh, sort of learning what works and what doesn't work, I realized a lot of those designs, they may look good, but they're really not gonna be sort of practical for various reasons. One reason is you'd think, one sorry, one example is you would think that like a heavy brass spinner would be good. But that's not really the case. Well, I don't think so, because this is a thin bit of titanium, four millimeter thick titanium. And if you watch me spin that, I can spin it, I can stop it, spin it forward, spin it back, do that a bit more. It comes to the crunch, I can't do it. There we go, so spin forward, spin back, spin forward. Now, I've got a similar one here, a little bit smaller, but I blue tacked them together. Yes, ugly prototyping, but you know, it's all I've got just now. So when I spin that, you probably can't tell, but but it, it's, when I stop it with my finger, it goes, you know, like it, it stops and it's like a sudden hit. It's, it's heavy, it's got a nice bit of momentum to it, but you've, it's, 
it's not as nice to spin as that lighter one. So imagine if this was in brass. I mean, this there's, there must be spinners out there three times this weight. And, you know, I don't think that's going to work very well. I mean, it might do. You might get used to it. But the other thing is that you'd think that your finger, you'd think your finger would, would um, be spinning it up here. Like, that's where you'd think... In fact, I'll show, this one's falling apart. The bearings don't fit very well. You'd think that your finger would be would be hitting this bit to spin it, but it's really not. Your finger, it goes right down in the center. To get a fast spin, you have to get as close to the center as possible, and just very hard to explain. But it's one of the other one of the other. Blah. It's one of the other things. Shit, this camera's heavy. Ah, you know what? Gotta change hands. Man, this is such a raw video. It's one of the, uh, what was I talking about again? Yeah, it's one of the things you wouldn't, you wouldn't realize. To get a fast spin, you, you, need to be able to, you need to be able to twist it with your finger as close to the, the hub, to the center as possible. And that's just, that's just one of the, I, I'm, the, I'm not very good at spinning with my left hand. And that's just one of those things you learn. So what I will do is I will show you Pretty much my final design, very close to it. I've got a few tweaks and things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very rough prototype, just out of thin uh, sheet, that will be close to the to the weight that this design will be, but it won't be like the actual machining because you know I can't do that until I actually do it. You know I don't have a, a CNC machine that I can muck around on. I have a machinist I work with, but I don't go to him until I have close to a final design. So I will show you this and. Yeah. So hopefully you can see that there. One is from the top down. One is a top down view, and the other, the drawing at the 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 bottom is like a sideways view. But that's not right. You see that drawing at the bottom? You can kind of ignore that. But the drawing at the top is very close to what the final what the final design will be. Whoa! Wind's blown everything away. So. I think that's all I've got. Like, I want to talk more about that later. I just need to do a boatload more testing. Unluckily for me, this has become a fully blown obsession. And when I get a, and when I get an obsession, it is a, it's an obsession. I, I had a meeting today with like a courier company, so to discuss like the sales I'm giving them and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I was sitting playing with this in a meeting and every time I picked it up I'm like shit I'm meant to be having a meeting and I'd like put it down again and then I'd be spinning it on the table and just trying to get you know thinking about it and I'm like focus and like last night in bed and I kept waking up through the middle of the night I was thinking about designs and yeah bad for me when I get an obsession but very very good for you and you know the world because they end up getting something that's like yeah what like kind of thing I make you know like titanium mechanical pens pencils things like that now, I have an itchy nose, can't edit that out. I think I'll leave it at that for today. I will leave you with a quote. It's by Felix Dennis, and he said, if it flies, floats, or fornicates, rent it, it's cheaper in the long run. <laughs>